Hey, are your projects not moving the needle during interviews? I'm going to show you how to take those projects to the next level utilizing branding. I bet it requires Photoshop. Of course not. Here at Coder Founder, we have students coming out of our program and we push branding really hard, which means that they build a professional looking portfolio and they brand the projects inside that portfolio. But outside of Coder Founder and even some of our students, we see common problems where people aren't paying attention to how their portfolio looks and how their projects are branded. In fact, a lot of times there is no branding at all and the portfolio, they don't pay attention to the details in that UI and it doesn't come across very professional or very attractive. Now, I want you to understand something that people are visual buyers and make no mistake, you are selling something. You are selling yourself into a job or a freelance gig or something, but you are selling yourself into these positions. So you need to make sure that your, your portfolio and the projects included to them look professional, engaging, and attractive because people will judge your work by its cover. And it doesn't matter what the code is behind it either. You can say, I'm implementing test-driven development. I'm losing dependency injection. I've got all of this great code behind the scenes, but if the UI looks bad, they'll think the code is bad. So don't deliver junk on the front end. Let's make sure that all of our projects that we present to someone that wants to hire us, either as a freelancer or a full-time person, that they look professional and attractive. But wait, hold on a second. Bobby, I'm not a graphic designer, and that's what you're thinking right now. And when, from my experience, I've seen three types of people when I tell them this message, I get three different responses. And the first one I'm going to call out is the denier. And we see this in the boot camp and outside of the boot camp. And that's the person that says, I'm not a graphic designer, so I'm not doing this, period. And therefore, all of their apps come across as console apps. So they don't have to worry about the UI. And they figure that'll move the needle to people. Or they make a very kind of like Craigslist type UI for their, their presentation on their portfolio, and that doesn't move the needle either. And so what happens to the denier, which is what I'm calling the one that doesn't think it's necessary, therefore they're not going to do it, they don't have the skills, they get what I call a soft no, which means that when it's presented, people don't even call them in for the interview, so you never get the chance to even show that great code that you have. And the second one is the cop out. This is the person that says, hey, I'm not a front end developer. I'm not going to work on the front end. I only work on back end. So I just threw this UI together just to show you kind of how it works. And you think that you're going to, be to explain your back end code because the UI sucks because you did it on purpose. You're not a front end guy. You're a back end guy or you're not a front end designer. Therefore, it doesn't have to look good. And I'm telling you, it has to look good. So don't cop out on this. Embrace what we're telling you. And the third person is the overachiever or the tryhard. What you're going to do is you're going to go out today and get creative suite and become a Photoshop master. And you're going to take my advice to heart, thinking that I have to be a graphic designer before I can ever learn to code. All three of these approaches are wrong. I'm going to show you how to do this easily and with the skills that you have. But make no mistake, you need to brand yourself as a developer. That means you need a logo, a mark, and a favicon. I'm going to show you a fictitious brand for Mark Spector. You can see here on the top there, I have a black square with the moon in it. And that is our, our favicon. And that's gonna be used and also our mark. We can use it for both of those. Our favicon will show up on a website at the top and our mark can be used in brands where the full logo doesn't fit. And underneath you'll see that we have the Mark Spector on a black and we call this a light version. And that means it could work well in dark mode or on dark backgrounds. And we also created a Mark Spector brand that's dark that works well on white or light backgrounds. So let's see how this looks in action. Notice here, this is superdogevents.coderfranny.com. And we've built this website to show you how a brand um, could be used to show off a project. So you notice in the footer there, I've got the Mark Spectre logo on dark in the bottom, but I also have my Mark and my Favicon represented in the half moon as well. Now, when we're looking at this, I wanna bring your attention to something that almost no one does, except for maybe a Coder Founder grad, is that every project in here must be branded. Notice here we have our Super Dog Events logo um, on the homepage here, and we've branded our project and we also gave it a unique name. What you'll see from a lot of other places is something like yet another to-do list or some kind of generic name and no branding whatsoever. Every project 
needs to be branded on your portfolio. It needs a logo and a unique name. You need to treat each project like a commercial piece of software that someone is willing to buy because they're going to buy you as a developer. So you're looking at the Mark Spector brand. And you said, hold on, Bobby. I love it. I like what you're selling here, but I can't do that. I don't want to do that. I don't have time to learn Photoshop or any kind of graphic design skills. I'm going to give you two pieces of software that only make this easy, but produce truly professional results. That's Canva and Luka. So let's look at these softwares to see how we could build logos for my personal logo and maybe logos for all of our projects. First thing I want to show you is Luka. Now, Luka allows you to create um, very beautiful things, and it's easy to do, and it gives you a full brand kit, which is kind of one of the advantages of Luka here. So let's let's pretend that we're going to make um, a bug tracker app. So I'm going to call my bug tracker Insecticide, okay? And so that's my company name or my brand name or the name of my project. And so I've got that built out, and then I'm going to go ahead and select some um, technology, information technology um, type things here, all right? And then in here, I can pick some logos, and I kind of like this logo. Now, we're not gonna use a bowl per se. What we're looking for here is the overall design of the logo. So like we like this logo and maybe this one, um, even though it's not um, exactly what we're looking for, and maybe even something like this, and we'll pick another one here. So just pick a few that, that stand out to you. It doesn't matter right now that this isn't exactly like, this is gonna generate and use these as inspiration for you. And then we're gonna pick some colors here, maybe a blue, a orange, maybe a purple, something like that. And uh, anything that you feel good here. And I'm gonna add a slogan and I'm just gonna call it A Bug Tracker, continue. And now here we can say pick some symbol types, software IT, and um, that's, that's, that'll work, and I'll click OK. And right away, it's generating some logos for me, you know. But it's not quite exactly like I want, so I'm going to add a new symbol here. And I'm going to click here, and I'm just going to type in the word bug. So maybe I want to use an actual bug for insecticide and find one. And right off the bat, I've got a lot of symbols here just showing up that look kind of cool. So um, here, I'm gonna look through here and pick some bugs that I like. Um, this one's kind of cool. It's got a kind of a two-tone to it. I'll pick that one. Um, maybe something else here. Let's just pick a couple here that we like. The cute little bugs, all right? Um, so we can pick uh, maybe, maybe this one. That one's kind of cool. And then we'll pick a spider. We'll get a dark spider um, and maybe a light spider. All right. So we've picked a couple of bugs. And again, this is to show you what can happen here. And I'm going to save my changes or see your changes. And now let's look what's happening. Now we're starting to see kind of like what's going on here. So I kind of like pick a logo to customize. So I'm going to go down here and pick something. And so um, what I can pick here or I can just say start customizing. And then we'll pick um, we'll pick one of these. We'll pick this right here. And right off the bat, we've got a, a, a cool look here. But also can um, over here on the side now, I can pick some different looks here. And so right away now, I've got this nice blue brand. It's picked out some colors for me. And as you can see here with Luka, now we have the nice black and white, all the logo files. Um, you can also can order business cards and everything on it. And it also gives us our, our color palette, which is crucially important when you're designing to know what these colors are and what they look good together. So this is real easy for us to build a logo. As you can see here, there's a lot of other choices I could have made, and you may see some that fit you better, um, that you like better, or you may have picked a different symbol. Now, if you're a designer, check this out. If you're a designer, you have a lot of options over here to change the symbol, the container, the slogan, everything that you want to do as a as a designer and you simply um you can build this as you're freelancing maybe you want to build this out for freelancers but for now what we're doing is building logos for the projects and branding our projects and then here in Luka, you just hit download and uh we can get the the get the brand kit and this is where the cost is you can get a basic logo for 20 though it's not transparent so 
pretty much um, you're going to be in this range or so, somewhere like that. We also can preview the brand kit and so you can see kind of what we're going to get here. It's kind of cool. And you can see here, I can have, I can create a print shop. I can create business cards, email signatures, website headers, logo files is kind of what we're looking for here for our websites. But um, there could be a lot of things that are really useful for you um, when you're building this out. So we think Looka is a good option, but it may not, but it's not the only option. So let's look at maybe a different one um, that we could also use. And so let's look at Canva. Now Canva is exciting because they do have a free option. It's a 30 day trial, um, but it is cost as well. But let's look at like how we can make our personal logo using Canva. So the other one we used, we made a, a logo for our project. Let's look at a personal logo that we could create. And um, comes in right here and we've got a design in here and I'm gonna pick this right here, something I've used before. You can see here, there's a lot of options in here and they go to the left and right. So there's a lot of options that you can go here. So I'm just gonna pick this right away and um, I'm just gonna change this text here. So I'm gonna um, call it Bobby Davis, Bobby Rush, Bobby Davis, okay? And then um, I'm gonna ungroup these, okay? And right here, I'm just going to say coder for hire. And um, again, I can uh, move this up. I got a really nice editor. It makes it really easy to make sure stuff is centered. Got lines here. Um, and then I can maybe tighten this down a little bit. Something like that. And so I made me a logo that quick. Now this is also has virtually unlimited um, things for you that you can use and you can move this around. They have a really nice, um, um, editing thing here. Now they do have Canva pro. So some of the templates you hear will be that are only under the paid plan, but you can download this right away and you can get a PNG right off the bat and download it. So that's kind of cool. Now, if you want transparent, yes, they're going to call you, um, try You want your pro version, but you can do this for 30 days for free. So, that's kind of cool. So look into Luka or Canva and let's make a personal brand and let's also brand all of our projects so that portfolio can really move the needle during the interview process. I hope this helps. Good luck and keep coding.